Hello, I'm Lieutenant General Todd Seminite, 54th Chief of Engineers, and we're on the road again. Today we're in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And you'd say, why is the Corps of Engineers in Brazil? With me is Sebastian Jolie. He's the district commander of the Mobile District. And we have a very, very close relationship with the country of Brazil, and we have for several years. Sebastian and I want to talk about three different areas, how the engineer regiment has been working with the Brazilian Army and the Brazilian ministries. And it really goes back to military engineering, our support of civil works, and I really think then this piece of R&D and talent management and working in an academic role. So the first day we were down here, we actually met with this senior engineer in the Brazilian Army and had a great opportunity to understand what are they doing to support their soldiers in peacekeeping missions, what are they doing in doctrine, in equipment, in training, and a full day of dialogue with our engineers and the Brazilian engineers on how we can make the engineer regiment in the U.S. Army better, and it goes back to also, are there things we could share? And throughout the entire visit, the whole theme here has not been to look at tactical issues or tactical projects, but it really goes back to how do we as representatives of the United States continue to be able to use the engineer venue and the engineer regiment as really the glue that can continue to build this great relationship together. I think more importantly, then after being actually in the Capitol, talking at the Minister of Defense level, we flew out into the Amazon and we saw an engineer group, in our mind like an engineer brigade, four different battalions, a lot of different companies, where they were out building roads in the Amazon and doing support in direct support of their four-star regional commander. Great dialogue. We got a, a massive amount of uh, capability that we learned down there and a little bit of uh, how we can continue to share. We do a lot of programs where we have exchange cadets with West Point, the United States. We have Brazilians that are in Erdic and continue to be able to learn from what we do in Erdic. So it's really a great day to continue to build on the, uh, the strategic end from the Brazilian capital all the way down to soldiers on the ground in the Amazon working remotely to be able to build infrastructure. Sebastian, I'd like to talk, have you talk a little bit about the second day, which was really what is the Mobile District, the South Atlantic Division, and the Corps doing with respect to the Brazilian ministries? Thanks, sir. Our focus on the second day was primarily partnership with the three major water agencies within Brazil's government. The first is their Department of Transportation, also called DENICH. DENICH has responsibility for development of several avenues of transportation, but primarily the Army Corps of Engineers partners with their waterway district. Uh, we provide help with nav their navigation mission, their O&M mission, their, and uh, signage and other safety measures. That program has really largely been conducted in the past several years with heroes like Calvin Creech, uh, and here recently with the addition of Bill Doan out of the Omaha district, uh, we've been embedded in their agencies, uh, accomplishing great technical exchanges and training programs. Uh, the second major uh, organization we partner with is their National Waterway Agency, also called ANA. Their agency is responsible for regulation and policy development for all the waterways across the country. This is one where our planning community and others have uh, a real uh, depth of experience and uh, expertise that they can provide uh, Brazil as they go through and refine their various policies and procedures. And then the, the final is the Cota Vasif, which is similar to our Tennessee Valley Water Development Authority. This one is focused primarily on the development of the San Francisco Water Basin. We've helped them with the design of the water basin, an interbasin water transfer, uh, and we're quickly moving from the navigation assistance to expanding our, our partnership to include things such as uh, bank stabilization, safety, risk management, and flood management. All these things encompass approximately an $18 million program that's run for 10 years, and we've leveraged expertise from all across the entire Corps of Engineers down in Brazil, facilitated through Mobile. So I'd like to send a shout out to, uh, to all the people that, that do that great work. We're well represented and we're making a big difference down here. But Sebastian, this really is an effort for both of our countries to learn from each other. And you talked about the $18 million. These are uh, solid agreements that we have made, uh, vetted up through the State Department and the Minister of Defense. And uh, I know there's a lot of, that we already do with modeling and other great technology. But when you think about what Brazil has to offer back to us, I do think it's a way where both of us could learn. The final day is today, right here in Rio, where we went down to be able to actually meet the Commandant of the Institute for Military Engineering. And they bring all of their officers that are going to go out into the Engineer Regiment. 
in here to get a hard degree. It's actually a five-year school. And we walked around through their laboratories and saw some great work that what they're doing with materials and other great capability. They actually asked us if we, if we could uh, take some more Brazilian officers up into the United States Army, and uh, we've offered Erdic to come down to be able to figure out how do we leverage Erdic back in, the power of Erdic, as well as the regiment at Fort Leonard Wood to continue to build this, uh, this great relationship. So I think all in all, it's been a phenomenal trip. A lot of things going on back in the United States, but it goes back to this idea that we as America can't go it alone. We always go with our allies, and you think of the great uh, al alignment we have right now with Brazil. We say, and I say as the chief all the time, projects are going to come and go. Every day we have to worry about concrete and steel. But I think that one of the things we've really had solidified to us this week is that more important than projects are relationships and partners. And that means being on the ground, making sure that the Brazil knows that uh, we're in to be able to continue to partner side by side. So Sebastian, thank for everything that you and uh, Mobile does. General Holland and her staff are very, very involved out here. But uh, just wanted to tell you from uh, here in Brazil, we are Army strong, we're building strong, and we're awful do, doing an awful lot to build, to build this great relationship between the United States and Brazil. So General Seminite, on the road again.